So let's look at this example for probability calculation, um, basically making use of the addition rule of probability. Think about traveling from Manchester to London in the UK via motorway 6 and motorway 1. So here's just a little map of the relevant part in England. Here's Manchester and the M6 is like this road here going through all the way here and then so you can see that's the m6 and then you join the m1 and go down here so those of you who ever traveled by car from manchester to london will know this route well and you will know that there is often a lot of heavy traffic on route and indeed also often road work so let's call these two events e heavy traffic on route and f road works on route and Let's say we have some probability for that. Probability of E, probability of heavy traffic is 80%. Probability of roadworks is 40%. Now, of course, these probabilities will depend on the time of the week and time of the day you travel. Let's say, you know, for the time you want to travel at, that is the probability. Now, you also have this probability here. Probability of E and F, so of both heavy traffic, and F, but not. So that means the probability of not encountering both heavy traffic and roadworks, that probability is 60%. So now the question we are trying to answer is, what is the probability, let me write that down, the probability of encountering either heavy traffic or roadworks. Okay, remember that the union, this is like an or. So what's the probability of encountering either heavy traffic or roadworks? So let's use our addition formula. That is the probability of E plus the probability of F minus the probability of E and F, E and F. So we have this probability here, that's 0.8, we have this probability F, but we are not giving this probability. That means probability of encountering both heavy traffic and roadworks. But we know the complement, okay? We know that the probability of not having both is 0.6. As if you have any event A, the probability of A plus the probability of not A will be equal to 1. That means the probability of A is going to be equal to 1 minus the probability of not A. So that means we know this probability because it is can write it down here so from here it follows that the probability of e and f is the same as 1 minus the probability of e and f not and that means that is 1 minus 0 0.6 that means that is 0 0.4 so we can use that probability now in here that means we have everything we need. Probability of E, heavy traffic, is 0 0.8, plus the probability of roadworks is 0 0.4, minus the joint probability of heavy traffic and roadworks, which is 0 0.4, and that means the overall probability of encountering either heavy traffic or roadworks is 0 0.8. Now, Perhaps you realize that that result, 0 0.8, probability of encountering either roadworks or heavy traffic is the same as the probability of encountering heavy traffic. Now that actually does tell us something about how E and F relate to each other. So what we encountered here is that basically, remember here, what we calculated, let me use different color, right? 
we know that the probability of roadworks is 40% and we calculated that the probability of roadworks and heavy traffic was also 40%. So what we can learn from this is how E and F relate to each other. We can think of a little sample space. And let's think about E. And then let's think about F. And it turns out that we know that these relate like this. F is in this case a subset of E because we know that from these two probabilities. Okay, the intersection of these two events, E and F, is exactly the same as event F as well. The probability for E and F is the, exactly the same as the probability for F, and that happens if F is a subset of E. So what that basically means, what we learn from that is that you will not encounter F roadworks without also encountering heavy traffic. Okay, so the heavy traffic, that was the E. So whenever there is roadworks, there's heavy traffic. However, you could have heavy traffic without roadworks on this occasion.